हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर फ्रेंड डॉक्टर सुरेश चेनवी हियर एंड टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी सिंपल केस डिस्कशन दिस मे बी ऑल दो वेरी सिंपल बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई हैव सीन वेरी ऑफन दैट द क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट गिवन सो मच इंपॉर्टेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेक दिस इमेज वॉट यू सी इन द फर्स्ट स्लाइड ऑफ दिस केस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑब्वियसली इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट मोलार it appears to be very normal but the patient came with a sign and symptom that uh, he has some pain and uh, many times what will happen is that students at the beginning days they have a habit of uh, seeing at uh, occlusal surface and the tooth looks very very nice there is no decay and uh, you simply send the patient saying that okay there is nothing but when you see the x ray you will be surprised to look at multiple findings so in this x ray you can see there is a dark band in the cervical area okay like it is it is running from here to this at this side and of course there is some periapical changes which we will discuss and uh, there is also a bone loss which obviously may be because of food lodgement or multiple reasons now if you had not seen the x ray and if you had only seen the occlusal surface of the patient's tooth then obviously you will send the patient saying that okay there is no major problem so that's why here you should always make sure that the x ray is important all investigation steps are really important so next is the picture again which we took and if you see closely that that there is a class 5 lesion now the class 5 lesion is sometimes very tricky to diagnose because you really don't know the buccolingual extension of this class 5 lesion which happens obviously in the cervical area of the tooth now you have to remember a very important thing is whenever there is a decay in the cej it spreads really fast because cej is less inorganic structure so the rate of progression of the decay is very fast and the second thing is that obviously the critical ph for decay in this area is also very high compared to the uh, enamel so that means that the caries progresses faster in such situation i have made video on caries i will leave the link in the description you can definitely go through it so if you have not seen the buccal surface you will obviously miss this lesion now many of you who miss the x ray and just look at the case you might say that okay this is a class 5 lesion and uh, you can simply do a restoration that cannot be a proper treatment plan because in your x ray you can clearly see there is a periapical change also the dark band what you see here is spreading from the mesial to the distal surface now what does this indicate generally the greater radiolucency here indicates that it has penetrated deep into the uh, maybe at the mid section of the tooth structure now here rc is also tricky because sometimes the decay reaches the orifice area and when you remove the decay you may simply lose the orifice connection from the tooth structure second is uh, you also should know that since the decay may have gone through and through so whole cervical area in buccal half may have gone you might do an rct but the tooth will be very weak at this junction so may you may have to consider the placement of a post after doing a root canal treatment please remember although you have metal post you have fiber post placing a fiber post is far beneficial for the tooth structure than placing a metal post for the tooth now since you understood that obviously this tooth has to go for a root canal because you can do a pulp vitality test and i'm sure that it will give uh, a, a a diagnosis where you may have to do a root canal treatment if you are very confused about diagnosis i have done a differential diagnosis video about pulp and periapical disease which is there on my channel and i will leave that link in the description now there is a very important finding we should appreciate in this x ray and this is asked very often in various exams and 
that is the radio opacity what you see around the radio lucent lesion now this radio lucency what you see in the peri apex it is a indication of a chronic abscess uh, uh, and uh, because the lamina dura is broken here but the most important finding here is that you have a radio opacity which is surrounding the peri apex of the teeth for example you take the premolar you don't see any radio opacity here okay and whenever you have a periapical lesion with a radio opacity associated with it, then it means it is a condensing ostitis. Now, similar type of a finding which is also seen in molar area, which also has similar type of radiographic appearance. And that is called a cementoblastoma. And this is very often asked in various entrance exams, including Indian or uh, Middle East or the NBD. Now, how do you differentiate the cementoblastoma than the condensing ostitis? The answer is really simple. The condensing ostitis is because of deposition of bone and that is why it appears radio opaque. So if you see there is a lamina dura, the widening, what you see is before the radio opacity. Whereas in cementoblastoma, you see the lamina dura after the radio opacity. So that's a very important differential diagnostic feature for radio opaque lesion what you see in the peri apex. So this is what is about the case discussion. If you like this video, please write in the comment section and click the like button. I would be really motivated to do more videos. Do mention, do check the videos which I mentioned in the uh, today's uh, video discuss today's case discussion and I will see you once again on Aspire 32 very soon with one more case discussion. Bye for now.